I'm Nicole Dznoski, the Paleontology Lab Manager at the Science Museum of Minnesota. This is Specimen Spotlight, and these are gastrolus. So gastrolus literally means stomach stone. So gastrolus are gonna be any kind of stone in the stomach of an animal. These can be stones that are precipitated or created by the animal themselves, or these can be things called geogastrolus that were swallowed by the animal. A lot of modern organisms or animals today have gastrolus. Things like our crocodilians, so our crocodiles and alligators, as well as many herbivorous birds, seals, and sea lions. There are also a lot of extinct animals that had gastrolus. So we have found evidence of gastrolus in marine reptiles, like plesiosaurs, as well as in most types of dinosaurs. So things like our prosauropods or our sauropods, which are our long neck herbivorous dinosaurs, as well as in our theropods, including meat-eating theropods like Allosaurus and Baryonyx, and also within the stomachs of a lot of ancient um, birds. So organisms or animals would swallow these stomach stones to help them break up food. So what this tells us is that these animals were probably swallowing a lot of their food whole and weren't getting any digestion happening past the saliva in the mouth. So another explanation for why things like our aquatic animals might be swallowing stones is um, to act as ballast. So one explanation used to be that they would swallow these stones and they would help them maintain buoyancy whenever they were swimming around in the water. Um, however, recent research has discovered that that's probably unlikely. Um, you would need to swallow up to about 6% of your body weight to act as ballast, whereas most animals are only found with about 2% of their body weight in stones. So it's more likely that they're either helping digest food or that they're using it just kind of keep from rolling around in the water when they're swimming around hunting. Thanks for watching. Keep exploring this and other ancient life by watching our Specimen Spotlight videos or come visit us at the Science Museum of Minnesota. Hope to see ya.